It's a typical winter day in Sweden. It has been a night with a temperature of between 5 and 8 degrees below zero. It has fallen about uh, 3 to 4 centimeters of snow and I have parked uh, the very modern electric car Hyundai e Ionic 5 at the parking place outside the hotel in Stockholm. Uh, I forgot to, I've forgotten to put it on preheating. It's possible in an electric car to just uh, in, in uh, the menu in the car tell you when you want the car uh, ready for uh, driving and then uh, it, it has been heated uh, in advance before you're driving. I haven't done that so I have to start the car uh, when it's five degrees below zero and I have to heat in the car, cleaning the windows and everything. So let's see what happens. Uh, the first thing that happens is that the charging cable is a bit frozen with snow and ice around uh, the charging cable's connections, both at the pillar and at the car. But it, it was okay, it, I managed to clean it up and uh, it was no problem to open the, the boot and the car is already designed for winter driving with really powerful uh, Nokian uh, Hakapelita winter tires, non-studded. Uh, the door handles works very well, although it's, uh, there have been both snow and ice in them. And arriving in the car, it welcomes you with, with uh, the instruments and you put on uh, the, the electronics in the car and when I did that, the window wiper was frozen beneath the snow. So I had to go out, walk out and l take them away from the windscreen so they, the electric motor for the window wipers didn't overheat. So this is done here and uh, now uh, I went back to the car to see what I can do to get it on the road. The the good thing with an electric car is that you don't have to start a combustion engine and having it running on idle, uh, polluting the air around you and so on. You just went into the car and uh, in, uh, you start the, the heating in the car, uh, both the heating in the seat and the heating uh, in the cabin and the heating on the windscreens. Everything is easily reached on the instruments and I was a little bit uh, confused. Maybe it should be some problems with this touched button uh, displays when uh, it's five degrees below zero and my hands are a little bit wet, but it worked very well and it's easy to find your way in the menu system in the Hyundai Ionic 5. So now everything is put on heating of the car so in a little while the car is ready to, to drive. So far I can say it has gone faster than it had been if it had been a car with combustion engine. Uh, I, I'm trying to see if uh, the drive works well and it did so I moved it a little bit in the parking space. Then I went out to take a look at uh, the windows and uh, all windows are clean in just three to four five minutes after I started up the heating in the car. I had to clean up around the charging inlet a bit to have a ch chance to close it and that's done there. The rear window is also cleaned. So now it's just to walk into the car, start it and get away uh, in the Stockholm traffic. Uh, I can see that uh, the car has me it's uh, 336 kilometers range uh, that's because of the low temperature of course and it also had used some electric electricity from the batteries to heat the car to heat the windscreen to heat the seat and everything uh, i'm starting it up and uh, it's a four-wheel drive hyundai with a battery capacity of a little bit over 70 kilowatt hours uh, the, the Hyundai Ionic 5 is technically advanced with 800 volt system and fast charging up to 225 kilowatts. That means under normal circumstances you can charge it for like 30, like 300 kilometers in half an hour. And if you are really the best charger you can get, you can charge it for 
like 350 kilometers in slightly bit low shorter time than 20 minutes but you, in this sit situation in Sweden it took me about an hour to charge it from 10% of battery capacity to full at the uh, Ionity charger.